So you struck out on sneakers once again. It's another week of not landing any shoes. You missed out on finish line, foot locker, uh, confirmed, whatever apps you're using to try and get your shoes early. What's the move you make? Do you go to StockX and Goat and pay those processing fees and shipping fees and whatever other fee they want to hit you with? Or do you find a couple resellers and go get the shoes from them? I've landed some Fire Red 4s. I've landed some Bloodline 1s from some awesome resellers, whether they're local or from afar. There are great shoes still to be got from resellers, guys that did land it, that are just looking to make a little bit of change. You can still get them without paying those crazy fees from StockX and Goat. So come check out what the shoes I've gotten in my first month of buying shoes from four awesome resellers. <laughs> going on everybody thank you for stopping by the channel if you haven't yet consider hitting that like and subscribe button i greatly appreciate each and every one of you that stops by the channel today we are talking about buying from resellers you know shoes come out almost every week several times a week on sneakers on uh, finish line foot locker confirmed sometimes you don't land those so what do you do when you don't land those do you go to goat do you go to StockX and get slammed with those processing and shipping fees or do you locate a reseller, whether local or from a few states away? They're everywhere. I never realized how many resellers were actually out there until I started buying shoes. And everybody's got them. It's most potently, I see it on Instagram. You see it on Instagram. Guys have it in their stories. Shoes they got that are for sale. Some of them have several pairs of the same shoes you can go land. I got four awesome pairs of shoes. Some are used. Some are brand new from four cool resellers. Three of them are actually local to me. One of them is from far away out in Pennsylvania. So come check out these awesome shoes I landed from these guys. Resellers have all kinds of different ways where they sell shoes. Some of them do raffles. Some of them sell the shoes straight up after they get them from sneakers or confirmed whatever app they're using to get their shoes. And then you get the chance to buy them. Whether that is in that raffle, like I mentioned, you throw $10 into this raffle with 15, 20 other guys. The wheel spins, and if it lands on your name, you walk away with a nice pair of shoes for 10 bucks, or you take the option of just buying it straight up from these resellers. I never knew how many resellers were out there. They're all over Instagram. Instagram's where I found them. I have a local buddy here who does it. Shout out Mondo Kicks right above me here. You can go check him out. Awesome dude. He's a local reseller. I said, hey dude, what are some local guys that you trust to buy shoes from? And he sent me a whole bunch of different guys. And I actually landed three pairs from those guys he recommended. And then a pair of these court purple Jordans I found on Facebook from my local guy, ASAP Kicks, right here. He sent these out to me. He is an awesome Instagram reseller as well. But I, I found him on Facebook, got these court purples from him. Almost perfect condition. I love these. I can't wait to rock these somewhere absolutely love those so let's dive into the shoes i found and the resellers that sold them to me who i highly recommend for you to check out and boom the first ones we've got are the core purples i just mentioned these are the 2.0 jordan ones and they are very near to dead stock they've just got a little bit of tracing there on the bottom sole they've definitely been worn one time but you've got no creasing and as i said they came from my guy up here, ASAP Kicks. I actually saw him on Facebook. I was looking for some court purples and uh, saw him on Facebook. He was selling them. I hit him up and he said, yeah, check out my Instagram. And that's Instagram was just flooded with shoes that he was selling. One thing that I'm learning from buying from resellers, always check. If they have an Instagram, check it out. They usually have like a little check mark page. Uh, looks kind of like this. You will be able to see what uh, recommendations, what references they have of people who have bought shoes from these guys. It'll let you know, hey, he's legit. Uh, you can trust him. He'll send you your shoes. You don't want to buy from a reseller that you don't know where the shoes are coming from, who's sending them. So definitely make sure they have a reference page or several references that can say, hey, yeah, he's legit. He's going to send you real shoes. Another thing you can do, ask as many questions as you want. You're buying the shoes. Ask as many questions as you want. Do they come with the OG box? Do they come with extra laces? Uh, are they dead stock? Dead stock just means brand new. Are they very near dead stock like these ones here? Uh, you know, what are their rating? A nine out of 10, nine and a half out of 10. Just ask as many questions as you want because you are the one investing money into the shoes. They have them. They have what you want, but they don't have the money, which is what they want. So definitely ask as many questions as you want, making sure you are ending up with a shoe you want. Like I said, these are the Court Purple 
2.0s. I love them. They just got the nice white tops here. You got white on the side here, then purple kind of outside on these layers out here. Nice, clean, purple bottom sole with that white midsole there. Very nice. I am very happy with these. Minimal creasing on the back crease, none on the front here. Beautiful, beautiful shoe. Shout out to ASAP Kicks for hooking me up with these ones. Let's get into the next shoe. Boom, and these are the Jordan 4 Fire Reds. I actually missed out on these on sneakers, so I looked up a local guy, luckily had him. His name is Sal Soul, DSM right above me here, also known as Cameron, his real name. Very cool shoes. These were dead stock. These have never been worn before. I'm not sure if I will ever wear them. They are so nice and so cool. I absolutely love these. Very nice, super clean. I like kind of the air gap there that you can kind of see through the shoes there on the bottom. Very nice shoes. You got the, the top flight flying Jordan there. Very neat shoes. Really enjoy these. You got the old school kind of Nike Air on the back as well. Very nice. I appreciate you getting these out to me, Cameron. Very easy to deal with. What I'm learning about a lot of resellers, they want the shoes gone. They want the money, so they want them gone. So they're very easy to work with. Very cool, guys. Every transaction I've had so far through resellers, whether it was the court purples, which had to get shipped to me, or the bloodlines that had to get shipped to me, or these fire reds here, they were just a super easy transaction. They were in the mail the next day if they had to ship it to me, or very easy to meet up with if they were a local guy and I just had to meet him. I actually met this guy at a gas station to get these. Just a nice, cool, neutral place, easy for both of us to get to. Very easy transaction. So reselling and buying from resellers seems to be very nice, very easy to do as long as you are using a trusted source, somebody that you can rely on or somebody that's been referred to you. Next, we've got my first pair of mids. Mids seem to be hot right now. I'm not sure why, but they are just catching fire. And we have got the Team Orange mids. I got these from my guy SP Kicks right up here. And I actually have, I'm sad to say, but I have to go drop these off at a sneaker store here in a couple of days that are interested in them. I love these shoes. And my guy, my, SP, my guy SP Kicks just couldn't find a guy at size 12 to buy these. So I got them for a killer price. And look at how clean these are. These, these could probably pass as dead stock, but I'm, I'm missing the cardboard insert from these. That's really the only thing that I'm missing on these. They are just so clean and so fly. And you know what? I was thinking, you know, if the, the Mets or Syracuse or the Knicks just catch fire, these shoes are just going to go up, up, up in price because they are very cool. And they, they're a good sports team kind of shoe. And they also came with two other kinds of laces if you don't like the way these blues look. They are very nice shoe. So shout out to my guy, SP Kicks. Very cool local guy meeting me up this week and dropping these off with me. I love these shoes. Last but not least, we have got the Bloodlines. I kind of teased that earlier that I was going to talk about these. I've got the Bloodlines. And for me, I am a Georgia Bulldog fan. So these are going to be worn. These aren't brand new. These are actually probably the most worn shoe I have so far. But they are still in great condition. Very nice. I haven't even tried to clean up these bottoms yet, so I know they're only going to look better. They've just got a small bit of creasing here on the front. Other than that, they are beautiful. I love these shoes. They're going to go great with my black and red Georgia Bulldogs gear during football season. I can't wait to rock these. Shout out to my guy, Apparel. Apparel's out a few, a few towns away from me, so he actually shipped these to me to get them to me faster. I think they showed up the next day. Very nice, very easy to do work with. Everybody I've mentioned today, unbelievable guys. They've got a killer following on Instagram if you want to go check them out. And also, hopefully, you guys go check them out after this. Maybe you can go find yourself some awesome shoes for a great price from local guys that I trust. I've done easy business with all these guys. So, guys, I definitely trust. These bloodlines are just so fire. I love the red looks to them. And all of these have came with the OG box come in better condition than I even was expecting from Instagram. But like I said, if you're looking to buy from a reseller, ask as many questions as you want. They're willing to get, if they, if it's a trustful, worthy person to buy shoes from, they're going to answer all the questions you got. OG box, extra laces, uh, check, check, ask them if they've ran up through check, check. If they haven't, it costs a maximum of $3, a minimum of $1 to get them ran through check, check. Ask them if they would do that, and you can either offer to pay for it. I actually offered 
Uh, my guy ASAP kicks on these. I said, hey, I'll pay the $3 just to make sure that these pass check check and just add them on to my total. Um, but other guys already have ran these. So just ask them for that reference number. You can go check it yourself. Make sure they are legit. Check check, of course, isn't 100% all the time. But hey, it's better than just guessing if they're real. So definitely go find yourself a couple local resellers. These are four guys I trust and know. Very cool guys. If you guys need help finding any local resellers, or if you are a reseller, put your Instagram down below and we'll have a whole bunch of guys following you trying to get some new shoes from you guys. As always, guys, peace out. I love you and we'll see you next time.